There has been some relief for tourism tour operators, but it has not been quite enough to get them all off the ground. Lorraine Poucher of Enjoy Tours says that tours for local tourism, such as the Gaspary Caves and Fort George, for instance, needed to be addressed. What we would, however, like to see is that for the domestic tourism to take off, um, we need to have the other sites and attractions open. The Gaspary Caves, Fort George, these areas, most of the other sites and attractions are closed. Um, the specific opening of the water courses, um, of course, would have been to benefit the Boko Reef tour operators, Caribou Sanctuary tour operators. But the other operators within the association are not really benefiting at this time from the opening of the, the water courses. Ms. Boucher explains that government's input into the tourism sector lies with international marketing of the sector. The private sector, she says, provides the investment while government works to get the tourists here. We have over in our association over 400 years of collective experience in the industry. And this is not because people gave us a grant or people gave us a handout for us to develop our businesses. These businesses develop because of the passion of the people, because we believe that Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful destination and that there is potential to earn income from the tourism sector and from visitors coming into the island. What happens is that the public sector, which is the government, is responsible for international marketing, for positioning the destination, for ensuring that the things that need to happen, happen. Ease of doing business for people who want to invest in Trinidad and Tobago. We cannot do it on our own. And for a successful tourism industry, Ms. Boucher says, a collaborative public-private sector arrangement, including guiding flights and cruise ships to TNT, is needed.